Lacey Chabert fans can't contain themselves after seeing a look at her Netflix film. Lacey Chabert is a well-known face in the world of Christmas movies. While she primarily works on projects on the Hallmark Channel, fans of the actress can rejoice with this incredible news. The Mean Girls alum is moving from Hallmark to Netflix this holiday season, starring in the upcoming movie Hot Frosty. Ahead of the film premiering on November 13th, Lacey decided to give folks a first look by posting a trailer of what's to come on Instagram. What's more, she's definitely embracing all things holiday and magic along with co-star Dustin Milligan, Hot Snowman Turns Into Hot Real Man and Hearts Melt, read the caption for the video posted on October 23rd. Lacey Chabert and Dustin Milligan star in Hot Frosty coming November 13th. Upon seeing the news of Lacey working on a holiday movie for Netflix, fans were excited to see what the new project would entail in the comments. This looks so good. Amazing cast. Yay. One person wrote, Yes, Lacey. I'm so stoked you'll be on Netflix. Another exclaimed, How did y'all get Lacey away from her busy Hallmark Christmas schedule? I'm SAT. A different follower added, So, what exactly is Hot Frosty about? The Christmas rom-com follows Kathy, who is grieving the death of her husband. When she is gifted an unsuspecting scarf, it turns out the object has magical powers. So, when Kathy wraps the scarf around a snowman, she doesn't expect it to come to life. Now, a real-life man named Jack, his naivete and zest for life make Kathy see good in the holiday season, and maybe a romance is brewing in the process. If you ask us, this sounds like a great movie for Lacey to star in. But let's not forget, she's also staying within the Hallmark family this holiday season. She's set to star in the Christmas Quest airing December 1st on the network as part of Hallmark's countdown to Christmas movie event. Needless to say, it looks like we're getting a lot of Lacey this year. Just as Hallmark Channel was launching its 15th year of Feel Good's Countdown to Christmas programming, with dozens of new holiday movies airing between October and December 2024, it was hit with a bombshell lawsuit that claims Hallmark's happy endings are stories made for TV only. Filed by longtime casting executive Penny Perry and obtained by Heavy, the lawsuit alleges that 79-year-old Perry, who once sang Hallmark's praises as a great place to work, was harassed, discriminated against, and then fired by Hallmark in May, accusing multiple Hallmark media executives of ageism and ableism. Perry also claims in the suit that many of Hallmark's most popular stars are in jeopardy of being replaced, alleging that programming EVP Lisa Hamilton Daly, whose leadership she described as a reign of terror, repeatedly urged her to find younger talent and to stop casting old people. Perry alleges she, too, was swiftly replaced by a younger, male casting executive after her firing. Advertising On October 23rd, Hallmark vehemently denied Perry's outrageous allegations in statements provided to multiple media outlets, including Variety and the Associated Press. I end Perry's lawsuit. She claims that her superiors, Hamilton Daly, who left Netflix for Hallmark in 2021, and longtime programming exec Randy Pope, repeatedly urged her to find fresh new faces for the dozens of movies and series she was responsible for casting. Many of Hallmark's most popular actors are in their 40s and 50s. Perry's lawsuit listed many of them, including Lacey Chabert, Allison Sweeney, Autumn Reeser, Nikki DeLoach, Rachel Boston, and Brennan Elliott, as being among the talent that Hallmark execs wanted to find replacements for because they were too old. Claiming Hamilton Daly told her that Hallmark's leading ladies are aging out, Perry said actress Hunter King was brought up as one of the young people who'd make a good replacement. King, who turned 31 on October 19th, is a rising star at Hallmark, appearing opposite Tyler Hines, 38, in the highly publicized Holiday Romance, a Chief's Love Story, set to premiere on November 30th. In her lawsuit, Perry recalls being told that actress Holly Robinson Pete, who turned 60 in September, was no longer a viable casting option because no one wants her because she's too expensive and getting too old, and that she couldn't play leading roles anymore. Robinson Pete last appeared on Hallmark in December 2022's Holiday Heritage. Chabert was also singled out in the lawsuit, with Perry claiming that Hamilton Daly once told her that we have to find someone like her to replace her as she gets older. Nevertheless, 
Chabert remains one of Hallmark's busiest actresses, having just starred in her 40th Hallmark movie His and Hers with Elliot and the company's first unscripted series, Celebrations with Lacey Chabert on Hallmark. She'll also appear opposite Christopher Polaha in her 15th Hallmark Christmas movie, A Christmas Quest, premiering on December 1st. Robinson Pete and Chabert have not commented publicly on Perry's lawsuit, but Hallmark Media has insisted it stands behind both actresses. Lacey and Holly have a home at Hallmark, a rep told Variety in an emailed statement. We do not generally comment on pending litigation. And while we deny these outrageous allegations, we are not going to discuss an employment relationship in the media. The company also told the AP that Hallmark continues to consistently cast and maintain positive, productive relationships with talented actors representing a broad spectrum of diversity, including actors who span many age groups and cross generations. I am the spring of 2024. Hamilton Daly was candid about her vision for expanding the talent pool at Hallmark during an appearance on the Hallmark Mysteries and More podcast and in an interview with Variety. When I got here, we were sort of on a talent exclusivity spree, and I think we've backed away from that, partly because we like our talent to be a lot of other places too, she told Variety of her goal to attract new stars by allowing them to work on other movies and networks. We like people to be able to find them in other places and be excited to come back and see them here. And we're also constantly looking to expand our talent pool, so getting people for a one-off movie is really exciting for us. After decades of working as a Hollywood casting director, including for many feature films including Cocoon and Ordinary People, for Perry's lawsuit, she joined Hallmark as a contractor in 2015 and, the following year, was hired as vice president of talent slash casting. She was promoted to senior vice president in 2019, she said. During a virtual SAG raft roundtable discussion with multiple Hallmark actresses in December 2022, as seen in the video above, Perry commented on the tight timelines she had for casting Hallmark movies, which are typically filmed in just three weeks, but spoke glowingly about working for the company. These lovely ladies make my job a lot easier because not only are they wonderful actors, they become your friends and we're family here, she said, gesturing to the actresses participating in the discussion, including Deloach, Robinson Pete, Aaron Cahill, and Ashley Williams. So it's very, very different than before when I was doing movies and working for networks and stuff. It's a lot nicer here. It's really great. The one thing I want to say about Hallmark as a woman, they're very supportive to us as women, Perry added. It's a wonderful place to be. But less than two years later, in her lawsuit, Perry slammed her working conditions, claiming she suffered rampant harassment. Perry included excerpts of glowing job reviews she received in recent years, but noted that she often felt unsupported as an employee with multiple medical challenges, including lingering issues caused by breast cancer treatment in 2007 and 2008, being legally blind in her left eye, and suffering from relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, which she said can cause intermittent equilibrium and mobility issues. In addition to accusing Hallmark of not fixing its elevator despite many requests from Perry, the lawsuit claims that her MS symptoms returned when Hamilton Daly unleashed her reign of terror against Miss Perry and required her to report to Pope, whom Perry had considered to be her equal. Despite his positive reviews of her work, Perry said Pope was abusive and tormented her regularly, including making fun of her when she slurred or forgot words. On October 21st, Perry's lawyers and doctor requested that the court consider expediting her case, given her age and declining health, by scheduling a trial for early 2025. A decision had not been made about timing and next steps at the time of publication. Hallmark Media Executive Vice President of Programming Lisa Hamilton Daly instructed a former employee not to cast old people for Hallmark roles, saying that our leading ladies are aging out, according to a lawsuit filed against the network this month and obtained by the Associated Press, Penny Perry, a 79-year-old casting director who filed the lawsuit October 9th in Los Angeles Superior Court, alleges that she was wrongfully fired from the network known for its feel-good movies because of her age and despite stellar performance reviews. Hallmark's happy endings are stories made for TV only, the complaint says. In Ms. Perry's case, there was no happy ending and no feel-good episode to wrap up her career with Hallmark. Instead, 
Her finale episode was marred by ageist and ableist harassment and a callous termination which robbed her of her illustrious career, her pride, and her well-being. In a statement, Hallmark denied the allegations, adding, Hallmark continues to consistently cast and maintain positive, productive relationships with talented actors representing a broad spectrum of diversity, including actors who span many age groups and cross generations. According to the lawsuit, Hamilton Daly told Perry that they needed to replace the old talent, including 42-year-old actress Lacey Chabert, who has starred in dozens of Hallmark movies, many of them Christmas-themed, and portrayed Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls, saying Chabert is getting older and we have to find someone like her to replace her as she gets older. The lawsuit adds that Hamilton Daly said of the 60-year-old actress and Our Christmas Journey star Holly Robinson Pete, no one wants her because she's too expensive and getting too old. She can't play leading roles anymore. Hallmark countered, Lacey and Holly have a home at Hallmark. We do not generally comment on pending litigation. And while we deny these outrageous allegations, we are not going to discuss an employment relationship in the media, a company representative told AP in an emailed statement, Chabert stars in a new Hallmark movie, The Christmas Quest, slated for release December 1st, and hosts the reality series Celebrations with Lacey Chabert, according to Hallmark's website. Representatives for Chabert and Robinson Pete did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Perry herself endured ageist and ableist harassment at the company, and Hamilton Daly, who apparently repeatedly made reference to age as a negative attribute that did not fit the network's image, told Ms. Perry she was too long in the tooth to keep her job at Hallmark, the lawsuit says. It also alleges that Senior Vice President of Programming and Development Randy Pope ridiculed Perry for her relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis by mocking her when she mispronounced words or names. A symptom of the condition, but unfortunately, Hallmark treated a venerable Hollywood veteran this way, and we hope this action will lead to change in Hollywood and all work environments, said a statement from Perry's attorneys, Lisa Sherman and Josh Shine. The allegations arrive amid a period of turmoil for Hollywood, punctuated by historic labor strikes, the pandemic, and the streaming revolution, the Associated Press women in the workforce, and state government coverage receives financial support from pivotal ventures. AP is solely responsible for all content. Find AP standards for working with philanthropies, a list of supporters and funded coverage areas at AP.org.